The co-CEO of South Korean internet giant Kakao Ko, Nam Kung Won, stepped down on Wednesday. That's after backlash from widespread outages that affected more than 53 million users worldwide who use its apps. As a representative in charge of Kakao's services, I feel responsible for the outage and more miserable than ever before. And I am stepping down from my role as CEO to strengthen Kakao's commitment to reform and change. Nam Kung's resignation came only seven months after he took the top job. It leaves Hong Yun Tak, co-CEO appointed in July as Kakao's sole CEO. The shutdown that started on Saturday was blamed on a fire at Kakao's data center in Pangyo. Most of its systems were restored by Wednesday, but some functions remain shaky. More than 650 small businesses have reportedly complained about lost sales due to the outage. Kakao Talk, launched in 2010, is one of South Korea's most popular messaging platforms. Millions use Kakao's apps to shop online, navigate around cities, or even hail taxis. But the recent shutdown has caused some users to look for other alternatives. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol has also questioned his country's reliance on the app, which has over 47 million active accounts nationwide.